when we first kind of were talking about Rock the Bells this year, I wasn't so totally excited because we did it a few years. Wu Tang has always been a part of it, you know, and Chang has always been in sync with me. But to go out there and then do the same thing that we did a few years ago is not exciting for me. But the 236 Chambers, that was exciting to me. I'm like, oh man, yeah, that's a great idea, Chang. We just do that album. That's like a real spark of energy right there. After a few talks, I agreed. And, then, and I he gave him the task of talking to everybody else because I didn't want to be the guy that was trying to sell it to my crew, you know what I mean? The majority of the shows I've been doing since 07 have been Liquid Source shows. I've been pushing for 36 Chambers, even a Cuban Link performance with Ray and Ghost. We've been pushing for it for a while. I think it'll be a great thing. Tossing and forcing, my style is awesome. We started off on the island. Everything around me. Same on you when you step through two. Oh, I'm going to give it to you with no trivia. 36 Chambers was our first official Wu-Tang Clan album into the world. You know, it sparked a lot of life for us, a lot of energy. Cuban Links was a powerful album. Liquid Swords, though, that album sparked a whole world for us. My buddy Quentin Tarantino, Liquid Swords, that's his album. That's what you know, and that, that kind of brought us close together. I don't know if Judas told you, but we are working on Liquid Swords Part 2, The Return of the Shadow Boxer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, we've been doing music for years, but actually, man, Jizza hasn't really done new music together tightly in a long time. You know, I did my albums, he did his albums. I mean, guest appearance on him, he guest appearance on me. But when we did Liquid Sports back in 1995, every song we did together in the studio, we had turkey burgers, chess, weed, and music. Nowadays, we're vegetarian, so we got veggie burgers. <laughs> but we got chess, weed, and music, and we got us coming together, putting our time together to make something classic for the world. You know what I mean? I put man pressure. Only wreck rhymes, you get hurt. Shit's plate like Zodiac, so I can sweat, sir. That's minimum. If minimum, minimum like sandals. sandals. A minimum table stack to verse on a candle. Energy is felt, but the card to dealt. But the impact of brown house kicks for black. We have this chemistry, you know, this reputation we built from working with each other. And sometimes when you're just flying vocals or you're flying tracks, you know, through the internet or online and you're sitting somewhere, it doesn't create that same vibe. You don't build the moment together. I mean, RZA could send me a beat and I can get it at home and I can work there, but RZA's not there with me, vibing with me, and I'm not there when he's creating the beat. So it's kind of different. It, you can still make it work because I've done songs like that. I've done many songs where the beat was sent or I send the vocals, but it's not the same. And I got I got to second that notion because personally, I don't like doing it that way. You don't see a lot of Wu-Tang albums because I don't like sending beats out, yo. And we in the same room together. You're not only capturing a song, you're capturing a moment. That's a moment in history. And that's what songs used to be. You know what I mean? That's what I want to bring it back to. That's why, you know, like I said, I'm taking time on my schedule. We leaving here, we going up to New York, like in a couple of days. And we going to the studio, we putting time in that studio, yo. And we going to do this together. It's going to make it better, not only from a musical standpoint, but from us recording history and time together in that studio, yo.